Hello, in this session, we are going to talk about Terraform resources. Now, once you're done providing your uh, provider block as to which cloud platform you are going to use, you will start creating your resources. Okay, so Terraform resources are the most important element that you will be defining. So this is where you will be telling as to what all resources you want to create. For example, you want to create an EC2 instance, that is you want to launch an EC2 instance or you want to create a VPC or you want to create a database. All that information you will be providing it in your resource block. So each resource block will describe one or more of the infrastructure objects that you want to create such as your virtual network or your instances or some high level components such as your DNS records like in Route 53. So this is how you will be creating your resource block. So one resource block is for one resource, one um, um, component. For example, here, uh, this one will launch one EC2 instance for me. Likewise, I can define multiple resource block for different different resources. So here, if you see, this is what I am doing. Now, in the previous session, we spoke about your provider block, right, which had the provider keyword. Likewise, if you are going to define your resource block, you will be using this resource keyword to indicate that you're going to create a resource that way terraform will understand that you want to create a resource so any resource that you want to create you will have to provide it inside this resource block in your terraform configuration files so likewise you want to create a vpc you will create one resource block for that you want to create a database you will create one resource block for that as well so your resource block declares a resource of a given type. So in this case, uh, my resource type that I want to create is AWS underscore instance. Now, if you're not sure what is the name that you have to use for your resource block, the resource type, you can get that information from the documentation. So here, if you look at the documentation, uh, let's say we will go to EC2. So here on the left hand side, you can see EC2 and here you can see this AWS underscore instance, which is for creating an EC2 instance for us. All right. So here this resource block is basically declaring a resource of the given type AWS underscore instance and we are giving it a local name. So this is my resource type. And this is a local name so this is user defined and this is key for terraform so you have to make sure that you use the same resource type the local name is user defined so you can give whatever you want so the name whatever we are using here right we can use this to refer this resource from elsewhere in the same terraform module meaning we can call these resources elsewhere for example let's say you want to get the public ip of this instance so we can make use of this resource type and the local name to get the public ip of this instance now this resource type and the name together it serves as an identifier okay so you have to make sure that it is unique within the module so if you are going to define one more resource block you have to make sure that it is unique now obviously the resource type will remain the same however you have to make sure that the local name is unique even if you give the same name it will throw you an error okay now within the block within this curly braces we are passing the arguments that i want to use for the instance that i am going to launch so here this ami and the instance type we call that as your arguments now the arguments that you can use totally depends on the resource type that you are going to create so most of these arguments in this section it totally depends on the resource type and in this example both ami and the instance type are specifically designed for the aws underscore instance resource so you know uh, since we work with aws we know that ami is only for an ec2 instance and instance type is also for an ec2 instance i cannot use this for a vpc resource type or i cannot use this for a database resource type right so these arguments that we use here it totally depends on the resource type that we are going to create 
again you can find all this information in the documentation so here you should be able to see what all arguments you can pass you can see you have ami availability zone then you have the um, ebs block device you have your host id so basically everything um, that you can pass with your ec2 instance is available over here now each resource it is associated with a single resource type so one resource block is for one resource type only which determines what kind of infrastructure object it is going to manage and what all arguments and attributes the resource will support now most of the arguments within this body like i said it is specific to the resource type that we are going to create now the resource types documentation so this documentation will list all the arguments that are available for the resource type and you can use this link to uh, look at the documentation so whatever we are seeing here it's the same link which you can use to look at the documentation so that's basically about your resource block um, i will be showing you an examples for this with an example script in the uh, upcoming uh, sessions but it's important that you understand this provider block and the resource blocks because that's the basics when we talk about your terraform so that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video